who loved me and gave yeah. himself Amen. for me. Praise God. Open our eyes that we may behold wondrous things out of our law. And we'll thank you and we'll praise you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to talk to him just a minute this morning. Oh, he did it all for me. Amen. I'm glad he paid a debt he didn't owe. Amen. But I'd be set free of a debt I couldn't pay. Amen. Turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Passage of scripture that has plagued me. Been preaching for a long time. Been pastoring Baptist churches for 36 years. And this verse has always haunted me. Couldn't quite understand what was going on. As I would read it and study, I'd read after good men that had their opinions, but nothing ever really satisfied me. I'm driving home one day from the office, and the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and did uh, the job of the Holy Spirit is to illuminate the Word of God. Amen. See, when I went to college, they, they challenged me on what I believed. But I'm glad that I had been grounded and rooted before I got to the classroom. I remember a, a professor standing in, in a class with several earned doctor's degrees and made the statement, I sometimes find the archaic language of the King James Bible hard to read. When he said that, my mind went back to number nine Hainsworth Street on the Mall in Mill Village to an old man, my granddaddy, who didn't finish third grade. And his, uh, his dad was sick. They pulled him out of school to work on the farm to take care of his family. And he couldn't read well. But I remember as a little boy uh, running in there and seeing him in that front room with his Bible laid open on his lap. Yeah. Yeah. Tears running down his face. Yeah. And I said, Papa, why are you sad? He said, I'm not sad, son. I said, you're crying. He said, no, those are happy tears. Yeah. Yeah. I said,